Why, hello, my name is Pug of Wall Street, aka Heavy Weapons Guy, and here are some highlighted comments. From this Spaniard the first, we have Pug, you inspire me. I shall be a red eye in competitive now. Please don't. Link9DB says, Grandpa! I honestly believe Billy could have written better comments. Really? No, shut up! Backstory. Rhino quit his MBA halfway through researching his case study, the elasticity of supply and demand in the modern private military sector after he realized that in the current market he could make more as a heavy weapon smirk than as a chief financial officer. Stats. Rhino is an assault merc with a health of 200, a sprint of 360, and an arm of 5 seconds and a diffuse of 8 seconds. Your health is immense. Your sprint is non-existent. You can try to arm in a pinch, but you should never try to defuse. You should try to sponge all the damage from the engineer defusing to keep him alive. You are an assault, meaning you should be killing everybody and everything that ever walked the face of the earth with your minigun. You should focus on defense, since you have a pretty bad mobility. Plan with your team to manage chokeholds. Billy? Yeah? I see you're using Rhino in offense. Yeah, he's really good for getting kills. Yeah, that's... That is very true, Billy. Have you seen any enemy players so far? No, I'm very slow. Rhino's pretty stupid. That's because you're stupid. You don't know how to use Rhino. You're just standing behind the EV thinking that's how you're doing your job. Why not just get on the MG in the EV and you're pretty much a Rhino? Uh, I, I, uh, shut up, Billy. Nobody wants to give you stupid whining. Abilities Minigun With unlimited ammo, Rhino only needs to worry about spin-up time and overheating while he fills the air with lead. Incredibly deadly at close to medium range, the minigun can chew through waves of enemies. This ability is so powerful, many Rhinos use it as a primary weapon. This is a possible strategy. Just don't forget the spin-up time and cooldown. And please, actually use your primary weapon. It's not just for decoration. But I get so many kills. Use your primary weapon. Primaries Arnold 12 Default my personal favorite, 77 body damage, 116 headshot damage, and 95 RPM. With a range of 128, this, so this shotgun has twice the range of all other shotguns, which, which compensates for the lack of damage. Aim for headshots close range to maximize your small spread and get quick one-hit kills. Holland's 880, 88 body, 132 headshot, and 95 RPM. With a range of 64, this shotgun is a good middle of the line, excellent at both close and mid-range combat. Use it primarily to spam body shots for finishing kills on uns suspecting players. Ramberg 7, 96 body, 144 headshot and 87 RPM. With a range of 64, this slow firing behemoth is devastating enough to one hit kill on body shots most weak mercs. Aim for body shots and try to conserve your very limited ammo pool. Secondaries. Remember to go for headshots and to spam only close quarters. DE 50, 26 body and 52 head, 257 RPM. Simeon 0.357, 30 body and 60 head, 225 RPM. Smooth and Wetsman. 0.40, 34 body and 68 head, 200 RPM. Melee, Beckle Combat Knife, default. 40, 40 damage on fast and 80 damage on heavy attacks. Still not a slow, 35 on fast and 85 on heavy attacks. Cricket Bat, 55 damage on normal and 80 on heavy attacks. In short, you are perfect for holding down objective points or chokeholds. You do so much damage, it's not even funny. Plan your setup strategically with your team. Most comp setups place Ryo inside the healing area of Aura to maximize his already immense survivability. Use him primarily for defense, and if you don't get 50 kills per game, you're playing him wrong. One thing that frustrates me about Rhinos who only use the minigun is that they lose the ability to kill players that are too close and too quick for them to kill with the spin-up time of the minigun. It's best to when traveling use your shotgun since you're already very slow, running with a knife out only reduces your, your survivability. Your primary weapon is perfect for offensive situations where your minigun would slow you too much and you have to move up and down an area or move from cover to cover. A good rhino can turn the tides of a battle. This is it for this comprehensive guide of how to play Rhino in competitive. Join me next time when I explain how to play Personne Echappe à Mon Regard.